Hello everyone and welcome back to another Better Minecraft episode. In today's episode, we are going to start off with a little bit of exploring and then move on over to the village and build a flower shop. So if you're excited for that, then go ahead and grab your favorite snack and let's jump right in. I'm pretty much geared up to do some exploring, but I do want to upgrade my backpack. And I think that I need diamonds and emeralds to do it. Let's see here. Is this right? Yes, it is. Okay, awesome. Bejeweled backpack. Cover me with various gems. And now it is so much bigger. I'm so glad that I decided to upgrade my backpack because it's going to be so useful. But I'm going to go ahead and grab my knife, I think. And then we need to figure out where we want to explore. We've already done a lot of exploring in this world so far. This place kind of interests me going more south honestly because this kind of looks fun right and then this ocean color is pretty so i think that's enough reason for us to go south i think that i do want to teleport over to joyu soda just so that we don't have to walk as far and then we can continue to explore south i'm so excited for you all to see this flower shop that i'm going to build it's going to be so pretty i've already built it in a creative world and it looks so good now I do also want to gather some materials for the flower shop while I'm out. So I'll just keep my eyes peeled for some flowers that I want. And then I also want to look for some sugar cane because I'm going to need some paper. Also, as much as I would love to have brought Bear, I unfortunately didn't want to bring him because I can't teleport with him. So we will just be doing a little bit of exploring by ourselves. Oh. Hello, zombie. What are you doing here? Not now, please. It looks like there's a ruin portal over that way and some sugar cane. Any sugar cane, I will be sure to grab. Let's see what's in here. A mending golden sword, some golden carrots. I'll take those. But I want to be careful about filling up my inventory too much just because I know we're probably going to find lots of goodies and I want to leave plenty of space for all of the goodies that we're going to find. Though we do have a lot of extra space now. Oh, lots of zombies. No, thank you. No, thank you. You are not welcome here. I'm trying to go on a cute little exploration trip. Ooh, another ruined portal it looks like. This one has a crying obsidian and a gold block. Mmm, a clock. That's fun. I guess I will go ahead and take the clock and maybe some of these iron nuggets. Here is a pirate ship. Typically, those pirate ships have fairly good loot, but there's a lot of strong mobs there. Typically, skeletons, I think. Though, I wonder if we could take it on. I wonder if I want to take it on. Oh, it seems like there's pillagers. For some reason, pillagers don't scare me as much as skeletons do. Maybe they should, though. And maybe this is about to be a really bad idea. But we are here to go exploring, right? Right. Whoa, look at the little baby boat. Maybe we go to baby boat first. Ooh, you are a pirate. Advancement made. Hello, baby boat. What do you have for me? Um, it looks like absolutely nothing. Though, I guess it's pretty cool. And now maybe go to the big boat. We'll see. If this gets it's a little bit hairy we'll just leave and it'll be fine right uh the question is how do i get in oh i saw a spawner let's break the spawner oh oh but it's going to be okay we have handled these guys before we can do it again let's get the shield in the offhand please and thank you i don't know what kind of arrows those are but they probably can't be any good right just take them out one by one so far so good though they don't seem to be that difficult, honestly. I really don't know where those arrows are. I think we did it. Okay, that was so easy. Piece of cake. Now let's see what kind of a loot they have. Okay, gold. Um, some skeleton skulls I don't really care about too much. And I don't really need an iron helmet, if I'm being completely honest. Or iron swords. Okay. These barrels have some good things in it. TNT, some redstone. More TNT, some coal. I don't think I'm going to grab the wood, honestly. Mmm. Okay. Well, maybe a little bit disappointing. Some buckets and food, it looks like. Maybe this is like their food storage room. It appears to be that way. Lots of really cool fish, though. We need to go fishing at some point. I will take this bacon, though. We can make eggs and bacon that we found in last episode. Well, maybe just slightly disappointing, but... I guess I can't complain either. And now we're just going to keep on heading down the ocean. Oh, another pirate ship. Okay. 
Though if it's anything like that last one, I honestly don't think I want to explore it. It was cool and everything, but you know, it's not worth it, honestly. There are bigger and better pirate ships out there. Ooh, an azalea tree. That means there's a lush cave. We have not found a lush cave yet. I do think I will just mark that on the mini map and then we can just explore it at some other point. Is there a villager on that boat? I think there is. What is he doing out here? Hello, villager. Are you doing some fishing? Have you found anything good? Sorry, I don't mean to break your boat. I'll repair it, don't worry. Let's see what you have here. Uh, I will take that string. I don't mean to just come here and steal things, you know, but it just, this is how it works, okay? This is how it works around these parts. I think you need to get back to work because there are a lot of empty barrels here. So I don't think you've been out at sea for very long, honestly. Oh, uh, maybe you should stay on the boat though. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. We have now reached land and we'll go ahead and sleep. And then I think we'll just keep on exploring on land. Oh, what is this? I don't know, but it looks really cool. I feel like regular vanilla Minecraft can get a little bit lonely sometimes. So it's really cool to play better Minecraft and just have random villagers out on the ocean. It just makes things feel a little bit less lonely. Now, what is over here? First of all, this looks like a desert maybe or a place with lots of sand. So we will keep this in mind. Oh my gosh, a cactus. That is our first cactus. This is indeed a desert. Oh, and look, there's a prickly pear. Yay, our first cactus. Oh my gosh, look at those, some seals. That is so much fun. Time to dump some of the stuff in our backpack. Here's a mauler, interesting, but I want to look at these cute little seals. Look at them. Hello, seal. We will definitely keep this desert in mind though. And also the Mesa or Badlands. I can never remember what it's called. Ooh, is this a little oasis? This is so cute. Now that I think about it, I do need some glass. So I will collect just a little bit of sand. Uh, look at that lava geyser what is going on there Ooh, and it looks like there's some bone blocks over there i guess it's like some kind of skeleton or something they are all over this little mesa so i might steal some of those too because i'm always in the need of some bone meal i have to build that skeleton spawner farm at some point soon now we can build with terracotta if we want to. We didn't really have that option before, but we do now. And I will just take apart this little skeleton thing. There is an abandoned village over this way. So I just wanna see what that village has. Oh, I think I heard, yeah, I heard this mauler. That scared me. All right, here is this abandoned village. Oh. I'm in quicksand? I don't like that one bit. Can I get out of the quicksand, please? Oh, okay. Um, what do I do now? Um, hello? Okay, I don't like that. I don't like the quicksand one bit. We will keep our eye out for quicksand, I guess. Whoa, look over there. That's really cool. We'll check that out as soon as we're done over here. Ooh, diamond horse armor. Well, I kind of think that's all this village has to offer. Oh, some rice, I'll take that. Now to check out that little circle thing over there. Oh, didn't we see one of these things before? And it has the husks. I see some husks on the mini map. So I think I'm right there. Hmm, should we check it out? Maybe. Let's let's do a quick peek. I'm feeling brave today. Maybe I should eat first though. And honestly, I'll probably just break that husk spawner because I don't really care about it that much. They're so fast. I hate how fast they are. Oh, okay, there's arrows too. Wait, I didn't sign up for this. Leave me alone. Oh, do I really want to do this right now? I don't know if I do actually. Ah, there's so many. Yeah, actually let's abort mission. Oh, they came down with me. Okay, you love to see it. Oh, they're just falling. Um, I would like to get my boat now and actually just leave. Maybe another time when I'm feeling extra brave. But now is not that time apparently. This diamond armor has taken quite the beating. I really need to get some mending on it, get some actual enchants on it. We could seriously benefit from that. Whoa, oh my gosh, I think we found a mangrove swamp. These are like the smallest little swamp trees ever though. Is that actual mangrove? I don't know, we'll see. And it seems like there's a witch, maybe? And some fireflies, oh, I'm so excited. Oh, the cattails are so cute. I want some cattails. That is a giant slime just swimming over there. He's living his best life though. Oh, and two pixel firefly, hello. Oh, this is mangrove, okay. 
Um, I want some of these proper gules. It's kind of cute how the slimes just like swim around in the swamp. Also, there seems to be some kind of like swamp village without the villagers. Hello, slime. You're very cute. I hate to kill you, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Oh, there's the witch. <laughs> Goodbye, witch. Ooh, look at this. This is so cool. I actually want to like build this myself. Isn't that so cool? I really like this swamp biome. Look at these lily pads. There's flowers on them. I will take myself some flowering lily pads. We can put them in the pond in the sheep field. Oh, small lily pad. I will take all of the lily pads. Look, he's just swimming. I literally love him so much. As much as I love this swamp, I do think I might head out of it. I really need to find some flowers. If I could find some kind of flower forest or something, that would be awesome. I'm looking for some alliums and also some azure bluette flowers. Swamp cypress log. I want to see what this is about. Oh, that's the thing with these trees is you kind of just got to like, oh my goodness, there's a dragonfly. It's so cute. Look at him and his little legs. Anyways, that's kind of the thing about these trees is if you just want to see like what one block looks like, you got to take the whole tree with you. But look at it. That's kind of a cool shade, I think. It's like this orangey color. We have one sapling. Hmm, we might want to get a couple more because I really like that wood, actually. And I wouldn't mind building with it, though. Where is another one of those trees? Hmm, oh, right there. There's another slime. Hopefully we can stay clear of it so that we don't have to kill it because he's cute. I don't want to kill it. We haven't found any frogs though. Well, this swamp is probably the coolest find, I think. It's just so atmospheric. I love it. I will say, however, the frame rate over here by the swamp is pretty bad because there is a lot of stuff going on. There's the particle effects with the leaves and then all of the two pixel fireflies all the little mobs and bugs and there's just a lot going on. I do think that I want to start heading north because we've done a lot of exploring. So I want to kind of start heading that way, still exploring over new lands, but heading closer to home. I went just a little bit out of the way, just a little bit, but it seems like there's this abandoned farmland or something, which is kind of cool. Also some little spruce trees and a floating island with a tree on top of it and some iron. And then also maybe a flower forest. I don't know, that kind of looks like a flower forest. So that's exactly what I wanted. I'm going to collect so many flowers. Ooh, these white tulips. We haven't seen these before. And the pink tulips. Oh my gosh, I could cry. They're so cute. I'm quite literally going to take <laughs> so many flowers. I'm going to take like all of the flowers. It just keeps on going and going. There are so many flowers around here and a very pink piggy. I am so happy that I found this place. It'll definitely keep us covered with all of our flower needs. Oh, and there's sunflowers too over that way. A little sunflower plains. These are our very first sunflowers, I believe. And look at the texture. They're so cute. Now, I do believe that I grabbed plenty of flowers, so I am going to actually start heading back to my base. Oh, it looks like there is a village over that way. That will be perfect because that means we can teleport to Joyu Soda or actually rather um, just our village. There's also this prairie over here with all this prairie grass. And it looks so fluffy, doesn't it? Look at it, so much prairie. Literally so much prairie. What is that blue over there? Oh no, I have to check it out. I have to check out the blue, but we will go to the village, but first blue. Oh, there's blue trees. Whoa, why are there blue trees? And it looks like the logs are blue too. So not just blue trees, but blue wood. There's just like a few random blue trees. Oh, forgotten forest. Wait, I think I've seen a lot of cool things that you can do with the forgotten forest mod. Oh, maybe I think it's something different. It's the twilight forest. Okay. I don't know what you can do with it, but it seems like there's a lot of cool stuff like uh, a portal. What is that? I don't know, but I want to check it out. I want to check out the twilight forest. Um, that will be on our very long to-do list, but let's check out this blue log. I can't believe our backpack is getting so full already. Ooh, and there's these blue flowers too. Cyan rose. Let's see what this wood looks like because I think it looks pretty interesting. Oh, it kind of looks like bamboo almost, doesn't it? And you can't like turn it on its side. Hmm, interesting. I will definitely take some though. I'm not exactly sure what we could do with it, but we have blue wood now. Whoa, look at that house with the well with the giant pirate ship right beside of it. 
There's definitely something happening over there. I'm not sure what, but something is happening for sure. Ooh, look at this giant mushroom. Whoa, very big giant mushroom. Ooh, these are the ebony woods. So cool. Ebony woods and rainbow beach. Hmm, what's over here? There's like white sand and gray sand? Maybe more Rainbow Beach? Oh yeah, I was gonna check out the village so I could teleport home. I keep on getting distracted, but I really wanna check out this beach. Whoa, uh, I see pink. I don't know what it is, but I see pink. We have to check it out. Oh, there's another village. Okay, that'll be fine. That'll do. There's white sand. Ooh, and then dacite? It's kind of a cool looking block, isn't it? Ooh, dacite cobblestone? Is that how you say it? Probably not. I will take it with me though, so I can remember this block because it could be cool to build with at some point, I think. Uh, there's a nitwit up there. Why is there a nitwit there? Okay, let's check out the nitwit and then the pink house. Why is he up there? Is he just stuck? I think he's just stuck. Oh, I see. Hello. He has a way back down. He's not just stuck there. Though, you know, maybe he's stuck there because he is a nitwit. Oh, it's a pink well, I think. Oh, or like a stall. Interesting. It's so cute. I love all of the pink. Oh, there's a barrel with some paper and some other little things. Interesting. I like this. And a massive ruined portal over that way. Whatever that is too. Just a random tower, it looks like. There is a village over here, right next to the windmill. Why are there always villages right next to the windmills? I feel like that is just a recipe for a disaster. <laughs> it seems like a very simple village. Really nothing fancy going on here, but we will go ahead and go on home. This village is called Jazzy Muko. Okay, but we are going to Kukotami. Oh, by the way, I did slightly edit this little like pink and white overhang thing. I just like moved it in a little bit. I felt like it was just sticking out slightly too far. And I did add some little flower boxes and some little bushes and stuff around. But for this flower shop, we are going to be placing it right here and it's going to have purple accents. Our bakery has pink accents and this is going to have purple, hence why I wanted to grab the allium. It's going to be so pretty with the flower shop. I'm so excited for you all to see it. I honestly love it so much. But since we've been exploring for a while now, I'm going to go ahead and gather the materials myself and then clean out this messy, messy inventory and then go ahead and get this flower shop in. And here is the finished flower shop. I love how this turned out. I added these cute little paper lanterns and they are so adorable. I wanna keep on adding them to all of my little builds. And of course we have plenty of little flower boxes everywhere and just a bunch of little details like the buttons and then the cool roof details. Oh, and of course the rain starts. I know that this build is really simple, but I love it nonetheless. Now, to work on this interior, I figured that we'd make the floor smooth stone. A smooth stone floor just feels very shop-esque to me. And the smooth stone in Better Minecraft definitely looks a lot different. I'm not complaining, but it's definitely different. I really wanted to add a loft in here and I might still be able to do it. Let's play around with some ideas. We do have this little purple stripe from this little section that comes in. If you can see here, there's like a little bit of purple. So we have to work around that. What if we line all of the purple with spruce stairs and then just fill it in with a little bit of slabs? Downstairs, I think that looks fine. It has a nice little pop of color in it and a little bit of depth. But if we add this little like ladder situation, well, I guess technically the little front purple bits aren't really doing anything. So maybe we can add a ladder here. Oh, and I did say I wanted it to be a loft. This is not a loft, but I don't know. We might have to just work with it. A loft would be so cute though. Does that look weird? I don't know, maybe. There's just not a lot of space up here at all. And so I just don't really feel like it makes sense to have an entire living quarters, I guess. It kind of works in a way. It's not the best thing ever, but it's also not the worst thing. 
It is kind of like a spruce box though. Very sprucey. Maybe once we get some little like decorations up here, it'll be okay. Maybe a little rug. I think we'll leave it like that for now. But then down here, I want to have lots of little like displays for all of the different flowers and also some kind of like front desk situation. Maybe front desk over by the door though. I have plenty of flower pots and also like these big flower pots too. So I think we can just like place them there and then like put plants in them, I assume. I did get lots of different kinds of plants. I wonder if we can stick the two tall flowers. Okay, no, we cannot stick the two tall flowers in those pots. I wonder how it works though. Let's see. Um, well, I can't even put like a sapling in it. Can I put just a regular flower? No, what do I do with it? It is from the Vinery Mod Pack. Oh, maybe we plant like plants in it as in like wheat and potatoes. Maybe there was another flower pot. I think that we can craft. Ooh, there's this flower box. Let's check that out. And I believe there was another one too. Oh, here it is. So I wonder if we can plant flowers regularly in here. I'm not sure how this all works, but I do want to check out that one bigger planter thing. This right here. I want to check this out, which honestly, I probably have the stuff to craft it without going back to my base. Let's see about this one. Oh, it's kind of like these little planters that are outside and we can just regularly plant flowers in here. Okay, well, we can definitely utilize that somehow. Let's just test out this other planter that we have. If I take a regular seed, can I just plant it inside of it? It doesn't feel quite florist. Okay, I can even plant it inside of it. Huh, what do I do? Maybe I can't plant anything inside of it, though that kind of seems pointless to me. Either way, I will go ahead and fill these flower pots with a bunch of different plants. It's coming together, though I do think that there's more that we can do with this space. I just don't know what yet. Upstairs, though, I would like to add just a couple of little furniture items. It's not much, but I figured it just makes it feel a little bit more homey up here. What if we tried something like this? Having kind of like a raised planter in the middle of the shop. It would make things feel very tight, that's for sure. But it would allow us to plant like two tall plants in here and just help fill out a little bit more space. Like this? Is this too much? I don't know. It's hard to say. I do need to get another too tall plant in here, but it would kind of be like this. I don't think it's too bad, actually. Oh, it's fall time. Wow, I was not expecting that. I didn't realize that summer was already over. I feel like summer just came. Sad day. I'm so sad that summer is over. But as we know, fall is not my favorite in Better Minecraft. Now everything is dead. Sad, sad day. At least I think the flowers will be alive. I could add these purple flowers. Those are fun and they go with the vibe. We also have the sunflowers, which are facing this way towards the sun. I believe that the winner though is this foxglove flower. I think it's just really pretty. The pots are fitting too because this little flower shop could sell the pots. So I guess these work laying around. And honestly, we could just like lay around a couple of empty pots though. You know, we're kind of running out of space just a little bit in here. Maybe we'll have a shelf full of some pots somewhere. There we go. Maybe a little tiny painting. Is there a little flower painting? There's a little sky block painting. That's so cute. Okay, we'll do the sky block painting. Well, what do you think about the flower shop? The interior is definitely not as impressive as the bakery. Oh, I did not mean to do this. No, no, thank you. But I do think that the exterior is beautiful and I do love the interior. It's just not as detailed and grand as the interior of the bakery. But definitely let me know what you think. I'm not sure exactly what I want to build next. Considering that our armor is looking really, really sad, I think it's probably time that we figure out some kind of enchantment setup. You know, we're only like 16 episodes in at this point. So maybe we'll do a little farmhouse so that we can start to trade with some farmer villagers. But then I also need to figure out some kind of like enchantment villager or just like librarian. I'm not sure. I have no idea. Ooh, and imagine the little flower shop with a splore. Splore? Okay. Imagine the flower shop with a little spore blossom inside of it. It'd be so cute. We have to get one of those. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. Definitely let me know what you think about the flower shop. Keep your build suggestions coming because I am definitely still making note of them. And I have not figured out a name for the village quite yet, but I do really like some kind of like Ghibli slash wind name for the village. But feel free to like and subscribe. And I hope that you all have a lovely, lovely day. And thank you so much for watching.
Bye.